What's going on, fellow apes? It has been way too long since we've talked. Um, I've just been caught up in school and finishing all my classwork and just the day-to-day -day of being, um, as well as some, some personal some personal things that I've been needing to tend to and for myself and for those people around me. Um, but putting all that aside, I had a very uh, scripted out video that I wanted to do about mushrooms and I'm still doing that video but I don't like this I don't like the script format I, I like kind of just talking to you guys because I don't know if I feel like it, it loses some some amount of genuineness when um, when in between my thoughts and your ears is some manufactured script that I spend time working on um, I do have a rough outline so I'll just start so in this video I'm going to be talking about an experience that um, can be had by most people uh, when an adequate dose of psilocybin mushrooms are consumed. Um, by adequate dose I mean it's often referred to as a heroic dose or something along those lines but I really don't like using those terms because if you look up heroic dose there is like there's like a set amount they'll tell you like four to six grams or whatever but personally and in talking to a lot of people who have done uh, mushrooms and had these types of experiences um, the dose doesn't matter the dose person to person doesn't matter the dose that you take and you know is your proper dose obviously matters to you but I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that five grams is gonna be enough for you or gonna be not too much for you because for some people it's not enough and for some people it's too much um, there's a balance and there's a there's a certain working your way up that is necessary uh, to find to find this experience in a way that isn't mm, corrosive to your to you to your brain and to your to your mind to yourself um, so I think my advice for finding this experience would be start as low as you can a gram or whatever and just keep adding half a gram every two weeks for a trip that's it you'll you'll notice that uh, not only will you become more accustomed to that state slowly uh, and more gently, but you'll also not be overwhelmed during your first trip because I've seen some people go crazy taking way too much um, for their first time. So it's definitely something that needs to be respected. So what is this experience I'm even talking about? Um, well, that's a very loaded question, and I think most of history has been an attempt to explain this experience, but just so we can all start on the same page, it's often referred to as a mystical experience, or, um, man, I really don't know what you would call it, an enlightening, uh, otherworldly Mm, meeting of an other intelligence a quote-unquote breakthrough uh, to some other thing outside completely outside of our reality this experience is not something that's guaranteed by taking mushrooms but I've personally come to find that taking mushrooms is a great way to lube up 
the mind fuck that is this experience um, and just to get a little bit uh, just to get a little bit scripty and technical on you guys um, I'm gonna put up a picture here that I'm sure most of us have seen and I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what psilocybin is and does uh, according to some website. Like other hallucinogenic drugs such as LSD or peyote, shrooms are thought to produce most of their effects by acting on neural highways in the brain that use the neurotransmitter serotonin. More specifically, magic mushrooms affect the brain's prefrontal cortex, part of the brain that regulates abstract thinking, thought analysis, and plays a key role in mood and perception. So, none of this is surprising to us. Um, but I, but what I want to point out is subject A, which was given a placebo, compared to subject B, which was given psilocybin. There is this hyperconnectivity between different parts of the brain that usually don't connect. And if we look at this abstractly, uh, not from a pharmacological or well, I mean. What you're seeing here, to me, what it seems like we're seeing here in this hyperconnectivity is a priming, a sort of, a sort of opening up, a, a, uh, a metamorphosis really of the physio physiology of our of our brain that allows us to that allows our awareness to experience more uh more dimensionality more 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 things more stuff outside of us um kind of like if like your day-to-day -day, like say you're a car right say your brain is a car and in your day-to-day -day, you're only allowed to use one nut at a time one bolt at a time one wire at a time you could roll a wheel around and whatever during the day and you know in your in your normal sober waking life um, but when you introduce psilocybin which is basically a catalyst uh, a catalyst of thought or a glue a kind of uh, bridge between these parts of your brain the car can be assembled and you can go drive around places so so what it appears to I don't know if that's a good uh, analogy but this is all off the cuff but what it appears is happening to me and what it feels like is happening to me is that you are you're building your car you're building your vehicle uh, well you're not the, the the psilocybin is and the place you're going is um, somewhere else and this somewhere else is best described and affirmed by um, anecdotal evidence because I can't you or I cannot go in there with a video camera and record it because that's not how it works um, but by the very nature of this experience it is transcendent it transcends this world's dimensions and um, language so I asked you guys if you had any uh, any noteworthy experiences while on mushrooms and I'm just gonna read off a couple sections of a few of those uh, to illustrate what this hyperconnectivity of the brain can result in um, yeah let me just read one my memories of this experience have faded what I remember next would be the peak I was sitting in my bed lights off ego dissolving more and more as I felt the pain and emotions I have long avoided the divine being which was in my being was pushing me to face the memories of trauma I endured as well as I had done to others I cried in pain and shame and I slowly came out of those memories at this point my ego was just scared and feeling lonely wishing it would all end I started seeing eyes everywhere all symmetrical a lot like Alex Gray's DMT art they were all looking at me, just observing me. Beautiful blue and white eyes of consciousness observing itself. 
It took me some time to even notice them. They were there the whole time. I still see those eyes to this day. To this day, these mushrooms gave. These mushrooms have opened up an aspect of my great gifts of sight and feeling. So, we can sit on that one for a little bit. Let me find another one I want to read to you. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sh shoot off little snippets. Here's another one. And then I started to experience another traumatic relived memory. So this is a this is a separate one from the one I just read. So notice the similarities. Uh, started to experience another traumatic relived memory at the peak of my trip because I went somewhere where the only thing that brought me back was physical intimacy with my fiance, and just that experience in itself was so beautiful. Words cannot fully describe it at all. I felt words cannot fully describe all I felt through that. One of the most amazing, very vulnerable, intimate experiences I've ever had with anybody, including my own self. Felt like we had merged and created a sort of iridescence through our physical and mental connection during that. After we did that, I was back to my normal speaking self, still feeling the potent haze of the mushrooms, but able to speak and move my body consciously now. Okay. Note. After we did that, I was back to my normal speaking self, still feeling the potent haze of the mushrooms, but able to speak and move my body consciously now. Uh, this to me is more evidence that, that the mushrooms are merely a catalyst for this experience that exists all around us always. Um, because we can, you can eat 20 grams of shrooms and choose not, well, I don't know if you can do that. Some people can eat 20 grams of shrooms and choose to not to not acknowledge the experience or to not allow themselves to go inwards uh, or outwards, whatever it truly is. Um, but introducing the the chemical is kind of like just opening the door and it's up to you to step through that. You can step through, you can go all the way in, you can have one foot in, one foot out. Um, anyway, um, here's another one. I'm going to just pick a random snippet again. Then suddenly I popped back into existence, opened my eyes to find I still couldn't escape the visuals with my eyes open. Everything in the room was moving and melting into colors. I looked at my phone to see what time it was, 2059. I was only two hours into the trip. This scared the hell out of me because it felt like it was only getting stronger. I went to the toilet and then drank half a bottle of coke, checked the time again, the same time. I started pacing the room and checked it again, 2059. I stared at my phone, I stared at my phone, willing the time to change. Nothing would budge. I went to the toilet a second time, came back, got into bed and checked again, 2059. On the verge of tears, I reached to my left to have another drink of coke. The fear I felt in this moment I will never forget. The bottle was full and wasn't even opened. Time had lost all meaning and the mushrooms kicked it up a gear. Hold on. Time had lost all meaning and the mushrooms kicked it up a gear. I would be sitting talking to a friend, laughing together as real as this world in front of your eyes right now as you read this, and then BAM! I'm back in the hotel, realizing that I'm having a horror trip. Over and over I would feel that the world I was in was real, eating, drinking, talking, going to work, driving, going to bed, waking up, then I would be ripped out of that reality and back into the hotel room where I would realize again that I'm tripping in a loop I can't get out of. Eventually I realized what I was being shown. I wasn't grateful for the world and life I had been given. I took everything and everyone for granted. I was using the mushrooms to escape reality so they taught me a lesson. Not anymore. I returned to the most grateful human being alive that night, with a deep love and gratitude for my family that I didn't know I was capable of. Grateful for my brain, grateful for my brain, grateful for my brain creating time and how it keeps everything linear so you know where and who you are in the world. Grateful for the solid ground beneath my feet, the sun on my face and the air in my lungs, and grateful for the pain in my chest that has led to me all these amazing lessons. Uh, here we see 
again the realization of realities outside of our known linear uh, 3d material reality the vividness he or she is talking about is I mean the the unmistakability it's not like you th it when you daydream or imagine or think it's like you know you're doing that when you have these experiences of outside of your normal timeline your normal life your normal existence outside of that it is not a thought it is not a memory it's it's a it's a true in the moment genuine experience of being somewhere else uh, whether that somewhere else is some recognizable reality like he's describing uh, waking up going to work going to bed all that or something completely undescribable and outside of the realm of uh, recognition uh, but but this one also this one also details that yeah you can have a horrifying horrible trip and and you will if you disrespect these things as as I know many people have if you use them to escape reality if you use them irresponsibly if you use them in a place uh, or state of mind that you aren't fully fully comfortable in um, there are plenty of things you can do to really kick your own ass when it comes to psychedelics uh, yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna just read another snippet randomly then you start tripping for real and you start seeing whatever your mind is thinking basically your thoughts become your reality they occupy all your attention this is what full-on tripping is well not sure I completely agree with that but uh, you start experiencing each thought with all your awareness I've seen the sky melt away into hexagonal geometric because I thought it would be cool to see something like that I've seen scary stuff because I thought the scary stuff would come the first time I had full enlightenment experience was when reality aka my thoughts became too much for me quote unquote the ego and I quote unquote died then I experienced thoughtless existence true existence pure emptiness which I then realized was also everything it was infinity then reality slowly came back together a few times I've been able to come back to reality with the state of God mind and I've been able to walk through our normal space time reality in the true mindset of God just appreciating all that I've created just watching just watching everything because truly that is all we are we are just the observer looking at itself I agree with that completely um, so this guy obviously has had some some very very deep experiences um, and again he just I mean it's, it's not like this it's not like it's not like he says then I thought I experienced thoughtless existence it's an undeniable it's undeniable he experienced thoughtless existence and I don't doubt him for a second um, and we can really dive into what this means but this video would be hours and hours um, so just reading through a lot of these comments well let me just do one more a long time ago I was high after a party and before sleep started before sleep I started to search on YouTube things to listen to while I fell asleep I closed my eyes and started a video named quote message for humanity that's my video I saved that long time ago because I knew I would love to listen to it while high it was amazing I had my eyes closed my body was in a complete state of relaxation and with my eyes closed I saw beside me a man that told me a story a man who talked with me like I was his friend who told me stories while I fell asleep I know it sounds crazy I watched all of your videos and from time to time I like to listen to one or two before I fall asleep uh, yeah 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 so that's pretty much most of his experience um, but again here's this archetype of an other uh, uh, I saw beside me a man tell me a story man who talked like I was his friend tell me stories while I fell asleep um, 
there's definitely a a communication that happens and this communication is inherently so deep and intricate that it can be interpreted in many different ways uh, a lot of people report a voice or just an intuition or a full-on conversation with an alien entity um, had around here's another one had around 1.5 to 2 grams of shrooms didn't measure I ended up thinking I had at least two consciousnesses in my body for my whole life well that's funny especially uh, because what I just said uh, so so the way I interpret his interpretation is that he was in the midst of this great separate other intelligence but I mean it's like you can only experience what you what you are willing to and if you are not r willing or ready to meet an all-knower an all-knower and you know a galactic all-knower then you won't you will just quote unquote have the feeling of at least two consciousnesses in your body for your whole life um, but I'm gonna keep reading I walked through my memory lane and thanked all the trees for watching us grow up even though we never noticed or cared about them I sat down by a tree on my school perimeter uh, and I wanted to connect with the tree and its story I cried for all these trees for not giving them the love they deserved and thanked all of them after thanking them I realized humans seem to be disconnected from reality and nature as we live in our own heads and create this fake persona for others Hence why humans are so uptight and out of touch with nature at times. Not to say that I'm any different. Uh, there's a lot, yeah, yeah. Um, this, this, uh, this feeling of reconnecting with nature and realizing that the human game is kind of a, kind of a silly one my interpretation of that is that this is the realization of or the beginnings of the realization of of what we really are uh, and that is no life is separate from you uh, the trees around you the plants the grass your parents your children your friends um, it's all the same it's the same thing just in many different forms and the this experience uh this transcendent experience on mushrooms reveals to you that that yeah i mean we should be thanking the trees we should be crying for them and all the things we've done and without even considering them as a life form you know thinking about them as a resource or as a decoration um this is fun. I'm a, I like I like reading these with you guys. Um. So I also wanted to just touch on a couple other things that are that are important. I've said it before, and I'm sure anyone who's interested in the topic has heard it. But these things must be respected, treated with a healthy fear. I think. Um, I know the advice is often to go in it with no expectations and that is great advice but don't go in it recklessly don't go into it rowdy I mean <clears throat> I had a friend who for his first time I was hanging out with a couple of friends we were smoking some weed whatever um, three of them were tripping on acid and I was I was just smoking weed so this other guy comes up pulls up uh, and he's like I got shrooms he, he had an eighth and I asked him had you have you ever done this and he was like he's like nah uh, I heard it's like weed and you know just the usual uneducated mantra of the unaware user of psychedelics and I looked him in the eyes and I said with all my sincerity I said I said bro I don't know if you want to eat that that full eighth long story short I couldn't convince him he thought it was just a little a fun little high he ate the whole eighth and within two hours within an hour 
he was rolling around on the grass uh, with like leaves in his hair and and he was just brutally confused. He was trying to call a friend who um, who had experience on shrooms and I was I was trying very hard to be there for him, but uh, he had just a sense of untrust of everyone. And I've also had plenty of comments uh, from you guys talking about how it has accentuated your anxiety and and it can be a very very unpleasant ass kick of an experience it can be very physically mentally painful and damaging not not physically damaging but it can definitely damage you mentally and it is of the utmost importance that you treat these things with absolute respect the same way you would come to god i mean it's that it's that real um, and even if you never end up having a deep experience, you're much better off, you know, going the safe way. Just, just start with a gram, add 0.5 or add a gram every trip, tripping no closer than two weeks apart. Um, so yeah, respect, uh, where you are physically, somewhere safe, comfortable, somewhere you know with one or two close close friends or alone um and also your mental state if you're someone who deals with depression or anxiety um or other mental illnesses or conditions or just isms you have just little things you have i mean just just respect these things um i'm just looking at my notes dosage i'm not even going to get into um, because it is so very subjective, you know, on any one of my videos where I tell a dose, I'll get 20 comments of, what you know, it kind of seems like the same guy, but I know it's just the archetype of the Chad, uh, saying 350 mics, dude, I did, I did, uh, 4,000 and I blacked out and it was, it was so fucking cool. I was so confused. Um, yeah, go ahead, do whatever dose you want, but, uh, I'm not going to tell you what dose is right, and I'm not going to tell you that any dose is a guarantee to any type of transcendent experience, and that's that. That's all I have to say about doses. Just be safe about it. Start low, work your way up. Um, so these experiences also can affect your personality, and that's something that often scares people away uh, but if you're afraid of changing your personality I think um, I think you're due for a personality change uh, I have a bunch of notes but I just think that I think here's here's what I'll here's the takeaway I think from this video it is it's important that those who are willing and able to explore themselves and from where we came and where we can go physically, mentally, spiritually. It's important that those things are explored just as they've been throughout of all history. It's even more important that those things happen safely, responsibly, and in a credible way because, you know, the more stories there are of, of people eating an eighth for their first time and rolling around like an idiot, the less seriously this topic will be taken. So I'm, I'm really grateful for everyone who commented on my little community post. Uh, I want to give a personal shout out to all of you. You know what? I'm going to just, I'm going to read through the names right now. Personal shout out, uh, shout out to Braden showers, shout out to ASIP productions, shout out to Crizo, my boy. What's up, Crizo? Shout out to Nibby, Nibby Solip, Nib, Nibby Solisp, G. Uh, shout out to Justin Muma, Mama. Shout out to the Great Cow. Shout out to Indigo Edwin. Shout out to Psilocyber four four four. Shout out to Kai, uh, Cohen. Shout out to Gangster Cami or Kami. Uh, always like seeing your comments. Shout out to. Tarini in, in, INTP Airbender, shout out to Cocaine, 
Uh, shout out to Christina Alina. Shout out to Hate with a six instead of an A. Uh, shout out to M N O N. Shout out to Frumite. Shout out to Gosher Bang Bang. Shout out to John Boner, <laughs> my fucking man, John Boner. Um, yeah, but I shout all you guys out, and I say all this because. A lot of people have these experiences and write themselves off as crazy. They might have these experiences by accident and write themselves off as crazy, but it's imperative that we all share our experiences. We all come together as a community and and really, really genu with genuine intentions, try to figure this out. Well, no, don't try to figure it out. Try to spread it. Try to spread the awareness in a way that can be accepted and because I think these things I mean these things are just an intensely immensely powerful tool for exploration of the self and like any other tool I can build a house with a hammer or I can bang my own head in with a hammer it's it's just it's it's a matter of intention and ability and willingness um, but I think the takeaway is that to keep exploring in a safe way, in a credible way, to share what we find on these explorations and to keep painting the picture of what the psychedelic experience is and has to offer to us as individuals and to society as a collective. Um, yeah, anyway, this video has been all over the place. I really don't know what I what I touched on what I didn't touch on I'm sure this this obviously isn't a comprehensive guide to taking mushrooms this is kind of a combination of what they are uh, what the experience has been to me uh, overall not getting too uh, specific on any one experience as well as anecdotal evidence from you guys um, and I touched on it just touched on it briefly at the beginning of the video and I really don't like for some reason this is very uncomfortable but um, in order for me to sustain myself in this <laughs> culture uh, in this society uh, I need money and I'm doing what I can with my art and with uh, just working odd jobs and and whatever I can find through the school uh, and I get a lot of support from my parents right now, uh, but all that's too personal. Uh, just, I have my PayPal up right now. Um, I'm not asking for money by any means. I'm not asking for money. Uh, I just know there are a lot of people who have contacted me and offered to donate. And um, if you if that's something you want to do, you can do it. I'm not asking you to. Uh, I'm just saying that that's there and. I'm putting it up here because I, I would like to make this uh, at least I would like to increase the uh, quality as well as volume of videos I output to you guys um, and the only real way I can do that is to have some some sort of passive income coming from this because uh, otherwise my energy just just because just to survive is going to be on other ways of making money um, I haven't made anything from YouTube so I'll try this but again I'm not asking for money I've been rambling for 35 minutes so uh, I love all you guys uh, if you've made it this far thank you again so much like always, uh, just keep going. Keep keep going forward. I'm right here next to you. We're all doing it. No worries. No worries. It's all good. Love you guys. See you next time.